Today we are going to discuss steganography detection. We will discuss what steganography is, what techniques are used in steganography, how steganography can be detected, the companies and software that have been released to detect steganography, and examples of when steganography has been used in crime. First we will discuss what steganography is. Steganography is a way of writing hidden messages so that only the sender and receiver know the message exists. It has a Greek origin and translates to mean concealed writing. Steganography takes many forms and one of the most difficult to detect is digital steganography. Digital steganography can be used by criminals to hide child pornography and stolen credit card numbers, among other things. These are hidden in normal pictures or documents and transferred from person to person without anyone noticing. Media files are ideal for steganography because of their large size. This makes it easier to hide things without being detected, but there are many other methods that are used as well. In order to understand how to detect steganography, you must first understand how it is done. There are many techniques that can be used when hiding an image or text. One of these techniques is using the least significant bit. This method conceals messages within the lowest bits of a noisy image. This is the method we learned in class, where the last bit of a pixel is the number that will be part of the message. This will cause the smallest change in the pixel and make it the least noticeable. This can also be done in the white noise of MP3s. Depending on the size of the image, this method may be noticeable. Let's look at an example. This website shows 8 bytes of a file and how they are changed using the least significant bit method. Notice that when the bits are substituted, only 3 of the 8 are actually changed, as you can see over here in the first one and also in the last one. As we scroll down, you can see an example of a photo that used the least significant bit method of substitution. As you can see, the differences between the two images is noticeable. In the example, the differences between two pictures were noticeable, while subtlety is a goal of people using steganography. Instead of changing the bits in each pixel, another method called hiding in the cosine is to alter specific properties of pixels. This method changes the least significant bit of the luminance vector that affects the red, blue, and green colors of the pixel. The downfall of this method is that other software may intervene when it is being transmitted and may decrease the quality level of the JPEG. Another technique is embedded pictures and videos. These images are unnoticeable unless the video is slowed down and looked at frame by frame. The person receiving the video would know exactly what time frame to stop it at, at to view the image. This is not one of the most secure ways of transmitting the image, but it is simple. Other methods include changing the order of elements in a set, blog steganography, and ignored file sections. Blog steganography is when someone hides an image on their blog or social networking site. The message can be found in the comments or in an image on the website. Messages can also be put in the ignored file sections of a document. These sections in the header of the document usually go ignored and the message goes unnoticed. As a security measure, a lot of people who use steganography encrypt their messages as well. These are only a few of the methods of steganography, and it is the wide variety, as well as encryption, that makes detection even more difficult. Now we'll discuss how steganography can be detected. Steganography detection, or steganalysis, is the detection of messages hidden using steganography. The simplest method of detecting steganography is comparing modified files to known originals. This method only works if the investigator has both copies of the files. They can use the two files to see if there are differences between them. If there are differences, they can assume steganography may have been used. Another thing investigators can look for is inconsistencies in data compression. Investigators can also detect if the least significant bit method has been used by using algorithms and looking in the white space of the file. Steganalysis is a difficult process for many reasons. One is when encryption is used as an extra security measure, it adds another step to the process. Another difficulty is when decoys are used. As an example of this is if someone uses steganography to hide child pornography in normal images, for example, vacation photos. They can send a large number of these photos and only use steganography on one of them. The sender and receiver would both know what picture the child pornography is hidden in, but the investigators would have to go through every single picture. These images exemplify the decoy system. The sender can email someone hundreds of these pictures and without further investigation of each one, the analyzer wouldn't know which picture had the message hidden in it. This can make steganography detection a lengthy and complicated process. 
To alleviate the difficulties of steganalysis, companies have begun developing software that helps detect steganography. The leading researcher in steganography detection is Jennifer Friedrich. She currently works at the State University of New York in Binghamton. She studies data hiding applications in digital imagery. This includes steganalysis and forensic analysis of digital images. The leading company in steganography detection is Whetstone. Whetstone software is called Stego Hunt and includes the applications Stego Analyst and Stego Break. Stego Hunt utilizes Fibonacci search methods to scan for over a thousand known steganography applications. In addition, Whetstone has other forensic software for detecting malware and conducting live investigations. The Steganography Analysis and Research Center is focused on steganography research and development. Part of this center is Backbone Security. Their product is called Steganograph Analyzer Artifact Scanner. This software allows the examiner to scan suspect media for known artifacts of steganography application. It does this by using hash values such as MD5 and SHA-1, among others, that are stored in its steganography applicating fingerprint database. This database is the largest commercially available steganography hash set. In class, we discussed how Yahoo and other email services scan attachments for known hash values of child porn. This is similar, but instead of scanning for the child pornography hash values, it scans for the steganography hash values. Another company that is developing steganalysis software is StegDetect. StegDetect was developed by Niels Provost. Part of this software is StegBreak, which is used to launch dictionary attacks. It uses different methods to detect hidden information embedded in JPEG images. An example of one of the different detectable schemes it uses is linear discriminant analysis. Linear discriminant analysis uses a linear detection function to compare two different images, and this function can be saved and used for future comparison. Steganography has real-life applications and is utilized by criminal organizations worldwide, such as Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda has long been suspected of using steganography to transmit maps, photographs of targets, and how-to manuals. An Al-Qaeda member was arrested in Berlin, Germany in May of 2011. The German authorities discovered that he had a memory card that contained a pornographic video entitled Kick-Ass. The video was further investigated and 141 text files were found hidden in the video. These files had titles such as Future Works, Lessons Learned, and Report on Operations. Al-Qaeda's use of steganography can be dangerous to the United States if terrorists are able to transmit this information in plain sight without our knowledge. Another example of a group using steganography is the Russians. A group of 11 Russian spies were arrested and found to be impersonating Americans. They used a steganography tool to hide their electronic communications with Russian officials. The tool they used is not commercially available. It works by inserting encrypted data into publicly available websites. The Russian officials can then access the website and in turn the information being communicated. Investigators found information sent from Russian officials to the spies detailing their mission. Their mission was to search and develop ties in policy making circles in the United States and send intels to C. In the statement, C refers to the Moscow Center. When the Russians were first investigated, law enforcement seized and copied a hard drive. Like we learned in class, they searched the area around the computer and found a 27 character password necessary to access information on the computer. The password was just left in plain sight. They then discovered an address book on the computer filled with links and images. They found over 100 text files hidden in these images. None of these files were found to compromise intelligence, but if they did, they could have been very dangerous in the wrong hands. A worldwide threat using steganography is Operation Shady Rat. Operation Shady Rat is a series of cyber attacks that has been ongoing for five years. Images were found to be hiding commands ordering infected machines to phone home to their command and control center. These commands have stolen intellectual property from over 70 government agencies, international corporations, and nonprofits in 14 different countries. Victims include the United Nations and the International Olympic Committee. It is widely assumed that China is behind this operation. Steganography can have a huge impact on crime in the United States and worldwide. With a wide range of available programs, only a small amount of computer knowledge is required. There are over 800 steganography tools available online, making it easily accessible to anyone with a computer. Steganography can be used on a smaller level, dealing with child pornography and stolen credit card numbers. 
Individuals can use steganography to transmit this illegal information without detection. On a larger level, terrorists and spies, among other organizations, can use steganography to transmit information that may threaten national security. Steganography detection is difficult and has not been fully explored yet. It will continue to affect cybercrime if more detection tools are not developed. This is the website I made on the topic of steganography detection. It covers the same material as this lecture and also provides some more detail and images.